Uh oh, I see a piece of garbage. These third graders are checking out the water in their local creek. Can we yeah. see anything in it? Uh, yeah. Kind yeah. of like little stuff. Uh, yeah. They're looking for evidence of plastic in the water. The plastic could start breaking down into tinier pieces. She's right. Microplastics smaller than a grain of rice then end up inside us. So how many do you think we take in every year? If you had to take a wild guess. 3,500,000. 1,000. 1, oh yeah, that was my 18,000. Canadian researchers examined 26 studies and estimate the average adult consumes between 70 and 121,000 pieces of microplastic every year. And the study only looked at a sampling of items, seafood, tap water, bottled water, beer, and our air. Researchers also found those who drink mostly bottled water may be gulping down an extra 90,000 pieces a year. The question is, how much is too much for our bodies to handle? We know that there is some hazard based on the potential for health impacts, but we really don't know the actual likelihood of those health impacts occurring. While we don't yet know what microplastics are doing to our health, marine biologists are seeing the effects of micro and large plastics in other living things, including whales. We know that in some cases, uh, plastic items can suffocate, can artificially satiate, make an animal think it's had a belly full of food when in fact it's not getting any nutri nutrition at all. In a variety of fish and bird species, scientists say microplastics can prevent adequate nutrition, reduce growth, reduce reproductive capabilities, and alter behavior. But experts warn it's not easy to study the effects of microplastics alone. We have fish and invertebrates and seabirds that are exposed to microplastics, macroplastics, pesticides, flame retardants, metals, hydrocarbons, pharmaceuticals, the rest. So the real world, unfortunately, is a very uh, challenging place to work. So tell us what you put in the filter, Maxwell. Charcoal, sand, and gravel. As scientists try to pull apart the impacts of microplastics, they say Canadians shouldn't be alarmed. But add, given the unknowns, we should be looking for ways to reduce plastic use. Would you drink that water? No. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.